What's up, everyone? It's the boy, Mr. P here. Mr. P, when was the last time you uploaded a video? Um, like... I don't know. Last Friday, I guess? What's today's date? Um... Sunday, September 13th? What time is it? Uh... 10 o'clock. What should you be doing right now? I, I, I don't know. You should be recording... Pokemon Showdown for tomorrow. But I still didn't do episode nine. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't do episode nine. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't do episode. You didn't do episode nine. No. Then get on with it. What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Mr. P here. Um, I hope you like the little skit. Uh, my friend. It was my friend. He he was telling me that. I kind of got it. I kind of got to do this. I'm like, I'm about a week up. I'm about a week up behind. I still got to do episode 10. I will try and get episode 10 up um, tonight as well if, uh, you know, if I can watch it. <coughs> Hopefully. Um, so, episode 9, Dragon Ball Super episode 9. Watched last week. I still remember it pretty vividly. All it was was a ritual. Shenron hilariously being scared to death by Beerus, even though I think you could just kill him by wishing someone has to wish him to die. I don't know. No, don't 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 ask me that. I don't know the answer to that question. Um, and Pilaf's gang like f freaking out. So uh, let's just get right into it. So f first off, firstly, the way they did this the ritual was. Amazing. The way they animated it, how all the different elements of the ritual, they were all, it was beautifully well done. The way it was written was really nice. Uh, I really enjoyed, I really did enjoy watching it even, yeah, I thought, I found it really enjoyable. I thought it was really fun. Um, and P Shenron, I always thought, I always thought it was interesting when Shenron got scared by, uh, by, uh, Beerus, like, I don't know, like, Shenron knows who Beerus is. Uh, I always found that, I always found that interesting, and it was, it was funny to see it again, and Pilaf's gang was just, oh, they're riding in a boat, I'm on a boat, and eh. just riding in their boat, trying to, they were running away, then they went back to get Shenron, and then they just got caught up in a whirlpool of Super Saiyan Godness. <laughs> um, and also, I didn't mention this, uh, separate from th the recording, I know, I'm kind of all over the place right now, guys. Uh, as I mentioned, it is 10 o'clock at night. I should have recorded this a while ago. Uh, I'm a bad person. Like, I really should have recorded this a while ago. But that's not the point. I'm here now recording this. And, yeah. So, basically, Pilaf's gang is just kind of over there. Being comedic relief, they're. I think they're. I, th I think they're doing a pretty good job. I think personally, I think they're doing a pretty good job with that. The comedic relief of uh, Pilaf's game. Um, I'm enjoying that. And so, Super Saiyan God Ritual, as I mentioned before, beautifully well done. Now, what I need to talk about is Videl. Big thing. Videl went blonde, not Super Saiyan. No, she did not go Super Saiyan. Oh no. Oh no. She's a human. It's physically impossible for her to go Super Saiyan. She, she, she's maybe superhuman. I don't know. Two four star references. Maybe they just, all the, Krillin just wasn't trying hard enough. Videl's, Videl's better than her. Videl's better than her. Videl's better than him. No. Um, so... I, Rhymestyle made a video on this, um, you should go check him out, Rhymestyle, shout out to Rhymestyle, he's a really good, uh, DBZ YouTuber, he doesn't know who I am, I know who he is, it's okay, um, about Videl apparently going Super Saiyan, so, I was confused when I first saw it, I didn't know what was going on, I was like, how does Videl blonde, 
I mean, now we know what a female Super Saiyan God looks like. Not Super Saiyan God. Female Super Saiyan looks like, even though Videl isn't a Super Saiyan. Whatever, that's not the point. Um, it was... I always... I thought it was weird. Like, it wasn't... I don't know. Okay, theory. Theory time. I'm all over the place. So, what? basically what I think happened is... She went Super Saiyan... Went, quotation mark, Super Saiyan... With everybody else. Because they... Vegeta, Gohan, Trunks, Goten, her... All just one blonde. Like, straight... Just happened when the aura just kind of went over them. Um, and here's my theory on how Videl apparently went Super Saiyan, saying it with the with the Drake hands, as in she didn't. Um, so they went Super Saiyan, and as you guys know, or not as you guys know, but I'm sure you guys have heard that um, the stronger, the more powerful you are when you have a child or have an offspring. Uh, that offspring in in Dragon Ball Z world will be stronger than if you were weaker and had the same child, or just had another child. And so Pan is Mystic Gohan is in, is incredibly powerful. He's easily stronger than Super Saiyan three Gohan, Gohan, Goku. Um, so that means Pan is pretty powerful based based on is on this theory, and it, it makes sense. Go Goten was born naturally pretty strong. Gohan wasn't, but Goku was fairly weak at the time when he had Gohan, and was he was pretty strong by the time he had a uh, Goten. So it makes sense when they went Super Saiyan how powerful they were. That all makes sense. Um, so Pan. But when they all had the power, when they all had the power, they all went Super Saiyan. It was just, Pan went Super Saiyan. Like, in the womb of Adele, Pan just went Super Saiyan. But, because she's an infant, her body couldn't handle the power. Just like, I'm sorry I'm referencing GT, I know some of you guys hate GT. Just like how when Goku became a child, he, his body physically couldn't handle the power. He couldn't go Super Saiyan 3. He could barely go Super Saiyan 3, could barely hold it. His base power was a lot it was a lot less um but he he or she he she pan not i guess it's not confirmed if it's pan um she went super saiyan but because her body couldn't handle it that power poured the saiyan power poured into videl and so my guess is that one it either made videl a saiyan for the time being because She's a child, and they are connected, so the power went into her. Or two, um, Videl just took the appearance of Pan because of um, just the power. I guess they're both based. They're both based upon. I guess there is only one option. Pan, Pan, because her body couldn't handle it, immediately went to Videl because they're connected because they're umbilical cord. Uh, it just immediately went. Immediately went into Videl, and Videl came a, became a Saiyan for a short time, or just reflected how Pan looked, because Pan became a Super Saiyan as well in that in that time. So yeah, that that's my theory on why Videl, uh, quote unquote, went Super Saiyan, became blonde. It's funny how in the show none of them mentioned that. I'm just thinking about that now. Um, yeah. So that's my review, episode nine. Good episode. Beautiful ritual. How they did it. I really did enjoy it. Uh, but if you liked the video, go ahead and uh, leave a like. If, even if you didn't like. Even if you didn't like. You should just go ahead and leave a like. Just helps me out. Leave a comment. What are your thoughts? What do you think happened? And subscribe for more. Uh, tell me when, when I'm being lazy. So then I'll record. So peace guys.